Hey everybody, what's up? It's Jasmine, and today we're back with another lunchtime reaction video. <laughs> You're making me laugh, Mum. <laughs> Mum's finally landed in Stockholm, so she's here as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to react to Trisha Paytas's update on her, I guess, breakup video. We're going to have a look. I have no idea what it's going to be about. But it should be good. Hey guys, hey. what is up? Um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the radio silence on my end. I that's all right. I know I'm not one to be quiet or stay quiet, and um, I think. <laughs> Sorry, we made a video earlier this morning for um, Jason to clear things up because his last video was like every comment was like, "Why aren't you addressing this?" I think someone like David can get away without addressing drama because one, he's always done that and two, like he just has a very much larger audience than both me and Jason and me and Jason are also very personal vloggers as opposed to David who vlogs other people's lives, which is a smart, it's smart actually because no one really gets to dig deep into that soul. Yeah. Um, so, but we're, we're just on different levels, me and Jason from David, you know, we're just, our audiences are smaller, they feel more connected to us as people because that's what we put out there. So... I got the phone with Jason said this was okay to say I, I think it's I'm, I'm literally just trying to make some sort of truce or just end some stuff uh oh Anyways, <laughs> but we just kind of just made me laugh that we were off the phone as well but she's just like it just looks bad for everyone if you make a video just keep it moving I was like this person does not know YouTube this is <laughs> we're not Charlize Theron and Brad Pitt you know what I mean <laughs> like and Jennifer Aniston it's like we're like what this is YouTube like if we just ignore it our audience is gonna be like what is wrong like, yeah for me I, I even thought I was like why don't I just I, I never do I was like I, maybe I should just continue posting videos that's what everybody no that would have been doing, really weird that's never been me that's not what I feel comfortable with I do feel I owe you guys explanations especially because <laughs> I put out a video and videos were deleted on both mine and David's channels and so I haven't spoken to David I don't I don't know he hasn't, like, Ooh. said anything more to me about anything. I take that back. Saturday afternoon, we did, I was on speakerphone with him and Jason, and, um, he was a lot more apologetic, I guess, and I don't mean to do the eye roll. I was, like, kind of, <laughs> I was trying to think in my head. I was, like, he was a lot more apologetic than, which is all I was looking for that morning before I made the video when he put out his... Um, both videos have been taken down, and I'm. Did she just, ask for an apology though before, before she posted the video? Speakerphone about it, like, you know, the reason I made the video were his poor jokes about something that really affected me and my relationship, and also just my headspace. Not even my relationship, just like I was on the edge. Clearly, in that video, I was on the edge. Yeah. Um, I just was like, wow, and just, just at the time, just no response or no remorse from either of them. Um, and that's that and I made the video and you know and I was like okay you guys can talk about me and my in our relationships and but I'm not allowed to reply <laughs> like I'm not allowed to make a video okay it's just me and my relationship okay it, that makes no sense so that's how I, I viewed it um was I like did I react on emotion yes I, I, I honestly didn't because I'll tell you the truth like even you know he posts his vlog like Tuesday morning at like 3 a.m. and even that joke about the threesome I'm so stupid to even keep bringing it up because I'm going to get past this I promise but um, you know that really bothered me and you know it, it really bothered me and I was crying before my workout I remember that morning and you know Jason heard me crying in the bathroom about it and I'm like I'm like Trisha just keep this together you know because I, I love my relationship and I do know Jason is a good guy like I spoke on emotion and was like he's creepy and stuff I know he's a good guy I mean he does he says and does stupid things for the vlog. <clears throat> but as far as, like, who he is as a father, who he is to me, like, he's a good, I know he's a good person, you know, I know he's a good boyfriend, I know he's a good dad. She can't really take um, back what she said, though. It just was, like, it, you just start thinking, because when he wasn't even remorseful or anything, I was just, like, or not even that sorry about it, you know? I'm just, like, what? Um, I, I just thought, okay, this is not a real relationship, clearly. Everyone's just mocking us, and I, 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 I'm very serious about this relationship or what's left of it at this point. I don't, I don't know, and I'm not trying to pressure him for an answer. I'm not trying to think of an answer. I'm just, who knows? We're, we're, whatever. Um, but 
I, I, I really did try and suck it up then because I'm like, I don't want to split ways. I had this music video planned that's like a love song, so clearly I don't want to break up with my boyfriend or bring attention to the fact that my boyfriend wants to sleep with someone else as a joke or not. I mean, he says it's a joke and I believe him, but to the outside world, it, it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't look like that to the outside world. But anyways, it doesn't matter. So I really just was trying to keep it in. I was like, just keep it in, Trish. You're doing your music video. You guys are going over Valentine's Day. Like, today is our anniversary. No. <laughs> happy one year, baby. <laughs> no, Trish. It's chaos, but... Um, so I really was trying to hold on. I really was trying to make it through my favorite... This is my favorite month, February. Like, it's the no. month of love. And I, I was getting really excited. We had these big Valentine's Day plans and stuff. So I was getting all excited. So... All, and I was at my mom's that morning, and I just wanted more. I was trying to just hold it together. I went downstairs to play with my puppy and my mom, and we we're going to go watch Betty and Hannah, so I'm going to just keep together. And the next day, I was going to go see my dad. So I'm like, it's a family weekend, Trish. You're not going to see these people. Just try and hold it together. And I, I just kind of, I just, you know, I tried to reach out to them, and both of them showed just lack of, of caring. And then I just felt like just how I feel, just I was on that edge. And... And when I say on the edge, just like on that breaking point, everyone has that breaking point. And I was just like, I was there. Um, it sounds like she tried to talk to them so before she posted the video. The phone, so it comes up to why I didn't do the video. We all talked on the phone and I was like, you know, my issue is those jokes. I don't like them. It's very disrespectful. It, it, it puts me, it's like, I can't, you can't explain it to somebody who doesn't, who hasn't felt it or doesn't know what that feels like to be yeah. humiliated, you know, in a relationship with cheating or cheaters and, um, you know, we talked more about this whole thing on Jason's channel because a lot of it got brought up to me about, you know, double standards, like me making jokes, and we kind of explained that. I'll just give you the brief rundown. Yes, I used to make inappropriate jokes as well, and then Jason never told me it made him uncomfortable, but I knew, so I stopped. Mm. Anyways, it's, it's like, I don't want to rehash this over and over because we already talked about it there, and I feel like it's being a dead horse. Um... So, but those were the issues, and I wasn't going to just call and be like, delete that video, because, like, that's not David. He doesn't just delete videos for people. So the fact that he deleted not one, but two of the vlogs, it was because of me. It wasn't because of, I don't know, him feeling, I mean, I don't know, he probably just felt bad or something, you know what I mean? And, and honestly, even, he's, like I said, he's on this other level where, like, he has hardcore stance no matter what he does. He could... You know he could do anything and people are going to just like love him because he's at that level and i and I, I don't think that's necessarily bad um what i was shocked about actually is how many people were like could see where i was coming from because i think a lot of times like i'm known as this like crazy irrational emotional oversensitive person and i'm like oh everyone's just gonna be like wow not a big deal but a lot of people could understand where i was coming from and to me, yeah i think like a lot of people could relate to it my, because we've all felt like David and, our you know, feelings are being and like, ignored and stuff um, at some point I don't I don't think David's portable <laughs> well that's a big turnaround sometimes I do think he's really smart but then there's sometimes he does not think and I'm like oh, what, what, are you, what are you doing you know what I mean um well he's pretty smart he's to make sure. videos not about himself and about yes. other people so that he can avoid <laughs> people talking about me. him <laughs> filming with that group that's like group that is so not me and I don't mean that as like an insult in fact they should be complimented like that it's not me I'm not a you know we all band together we look out for each other we support each other and then not only that but it's like part of your I mean that's great I honestly wish I could be more like that like I wish I could be that outgoing and stuff like I think what they have is a cool thing you know as long as I feel like no one's doing anything wrong I think it's fine but you know Squad mentality can be bad if protecting the wrong people or whatever. But anyways, it's not about that. So that's why the video was deleted. I think that just a lot of people kind of wanted to know that. And then also just kind of explain what's going on. To be honest, I don't know. Um, I mean, I doubt. <laughs> I, I don't think. I don't even know. Like, I look back and I'm like, I don't even know if David and I were really friends. I, I really did enjoy him. I, and I thought he was funny. And I and I thought, the thing is, is like I, I thought like all the jokes were funny. And I literally had asked one joke to not be made. One joke. It's like, mm. um, That's fair you enough. know, I, one joke. And I'm, it's not like I'm a, this crude person. Obviously not. Like no. I'm very open. I am. And I'm very like, make fun of me. I'll make fun of you. Like I've done it. You know what I mean? Like I don't really make fun of people that much. And like I try not to because it's, I think David's very, very funny. And then it's just like, 
and there have been other people who have been like you, you go to you know this is too far and they're like take it out so it just was my issue it was like why wouldn't you have done that for me and why wouldn't you have at least he's usually very charming and very can like talk his way out of like everything like but it sounds like it sounds like she never really liked David that much and I guess that's fair enough I've never really watched his videos or anything so I don't know like what he's all about and what he's like and stuff but it sounds like she tried to reach out to both Jason and him before she made that video I still think that she made the other video um a bit hastily but then at the same time if she did try and reach out to them and then they made her feel like she wasn't being listened to and they weren't going to respect her wishes then it's like what are you going to do like I feel like Trish already has a difficult time like with emotions and things so then if she actually did the right thing to begin with and then everybody's like well we don't care and then she goes and makes a video then it's like well you know she did try and do the right thing to start off with um but I guess her and Jason aren't back together or anything and that kind of is up in the air but I think it'll be good for Trisha if she doesn't hang out with the vlog squad because if they're not her people and they don't respect her then there just really isn't any point and she makes good videos like people like her videos so she doesn't really need them <laughs> but yeah um I think it's kind of too late to <laughs> turn around and say that uh Jason and and David are good people when she <laughs> trash talked them so much but yeah it does lead people to wonder and she kind of you know she does continue to sort of say that you know he's a good person but he takes things too far so I don't know but anyway that's gonna be it for me today guys hopefully I'll have another video up tonight we'll see we've got lots of fun times ahead it's super sunny today and I still have three hours of work to go so yeah give this video a thumbs up if you think I did a good job make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys all next time hey door